Hi, welcome to Rock Down. I'm Wendy Stapleton. Formed in 1971, Maddle Lake were one of the first bands to sign to Michael Godinsky's Mushroom Records. Well, who could forget Goodbye Lollipop or 12 Pound Toothbrush? And here with me in the studio, we have the lead singer. Would you please welcome Mick Pettis? Thank you very much, Wendy. Oh, oh. You're more than welcome. <laughs> I um, I spent many, many uh, a, a great night at um, the Garrison. Yes, I remember Garrison in, and um, yeah. and good old Sebastian's. Yeah, I remember. Yes, yeah, Sebastian's. Oh, that's, gee, that's going back a um, a decade or three. Well, we were all there because yeah. um, that was sort of the beginning for um, I think people of our age, the changeover from um, pop. I yep, guess yep, pop yep. pop music to long hair and yeah. a bit of blues coming into the that's, into the music scene and uh, it was so start, it's very exciting start of attitude start of attitude yeah <laughs> so tell me how young Mick got his attitude <laughs> ah well I, I suppose I was like millions of others but um, uh, it began Beatles. Uh, Rolling Stones, English music, mm -hmm. and uh, in Australia, I remember uh, being at high school. And, Where did you go? Uh, I was. I went to. I went to Strathmore High, and then we moved out to Doncaster, and I, I went to Templestowe High, and um, I remember they they had lunchtime concerts, and there was one lunchtime concert which was Needle in a Haystack. That's the it. Twilight. 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 <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> you've just, just won. Just smack me. Uh, and so there's Twilights, uh, and I used to go... And they were really good too. They, they were, really were good fantastic. Band, yeah. uh, and I remember I was right into the Easy Beats, and I was too young, but uh, one night the Easy Beats were playing, and, you know, you can imagine Suburban Ball, when it must have been, I don't know, 1966, uh, but the, you know the Easy Beats music, there's the hall there, you know, with the lights on, and the Easy Beats music coming out, and I was just you know like a moth to the light. Absolutely, you yeah. know, and so I was outside the hall, and I was just oh. I don't Wouldn't know. they let you in? No, well, <laughs> no, I mean, you know, I used to do. I, look, I was a dickhead, you know. I was, I was one of those kids, you know, when 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 the Beatles had all the. The fur on the face yeah. stuff, you know, I thought, oh, you know, the fur is starting to happen on, on top lip. So I thought I'd add to Go it. Go for that? It, add, add to it with a bit of pen, you know, so to make it look... Um, oh, so no wonder they didn't let you in. They, I, might, I, they I, might have thought you were out on the yeah, weekend leave or I something. I used, to, I used to wag school... I used to wag school and go into 10th <laughs> Avenue in, in the city in Burke Street. In Burke Street. Yeah. And I remember... Uh, seeing Still one, with it drawn yeah, on? Yeah, all the stuff, oh, you yeah. know. And... and uh, I you know, realise that must have been hysterical. Yeah, you know, I know, but think about it. Um, I don't. But yeah. uh, I remember uh, uh, Johnny Young doing a lunchtime show uh, at 10th Avenue, doing... Car uh, Car Carolyn. Car 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 anyway, I thought, oh. Oh, you know, this and the room must have been full of people wagging school. School, yeah. You know, I remember one time leaving and someone didn't like me and uh, I got hammered in the stairwell, but um, I still kept going back. But, uh, you know. <laughs> Were you playing by then? Uh, I think. I, th I mean, I know you weren't playing, but singing, but. Yeah, no, singing, I think. Singing, playing. I, uh, yeah, because I. Before anything happened, you know, you know like thousands of people. You go the natural evolution. You start off with you know playing music with a couple of people, there, then one band, two bands, and you just float through this. It's like an organic uh, grow thing, and and, and um, it wasn't until S Swinburne where it really started to uh, I, I come together, guys, because I met I met uh, uh, Kerry and Brendan. Um, and uh, Jack uh, was there. Um, so these are all your, all your band members. There's all, yeah, Brendan that's, Mason. That's right. Kerry McKenna. Yeah. There's Jack Kremus, uh, um and John McKinnon was a friend friend of, of Jack's. But anyway, the short of it was, I uh, I don't know how it happened, but 
I ended up singing with San Sebastian, the band that that uh, was uh, before uh, Madeleine. Lake. Lake, yeah. And, and, and I, I remember doing the first show ever with them, which was at the Continental Hotel at um, uh, Sorrento, and I was really feeling the nappy, you know, because I just <laughs> did just. I thought, yeah, I talked my way into this situation, and, and so they, you met you met the boys at Swinburne. Yeah, yeah. But previously. Um, Brendan mm-hmm. and did you yeah, say Kerry, Kerry both were at school with Michael Gadinsky that's at right. Melbourne High? That's so right. That was their little connection later on. Yeah, yeah. With, uh, uh, well, with well, mushroom. That's right. And the, the wheels just keep turning. And they, and they, as long as you're alive and active doing things, the wheels keep will turning. keep turning. So that's right. That's they they were at Melbourne High together, and um, you know, as as time went on, when when. San Sebastian evolved into Metal Lake, and then uh, uh, I, I, at, at an early stage, uh, because we were all studying design at Swinburne, I ended up working on the Daily Planet, a newspaper that, yeah, that, that, that yeah, Gadinsky yeah. put together. Uh, sometimes I think about it, you know, the fact, um, like the involvement with, with, with Brennan and Kerry, uh, it's it's a lifetime, you know. Yes, it the, has been the friendship, a lifetime the from fr- school, from yeah, all from college. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but it's survived um, uh, marriages. It's survived, you know. Isn't, that's unfair. lovely, you know, because it doesn't always happen that way. No, no. With well, any, not just bands, but with any uh, associations, a lot of the time, um, well, unfortunately, yeah, stuff happens. That's and, right. It's, but it's relationships. most people I speak to with music. There are very few people yeah. that that don't still think fondly of of their band friends yeah, and yeah, yeah. stuff like that. So, just going back to um, you had San Sebastian yeah. and then Metal Lake formed. We'll take a short break because when we come back, I want to actually talk to you about what it was like. Yeah. Being like, I don't know whether you were the first, but probably the first band to sign right. with Mushroom Music. We'll let you know in a minute. Uh, beautiful. Okay. <laughs> You're very good. You've got the right cameras in there. Rock Down. Welcome back to Rock Down. We're with Madalek's lead singer, Mick Fettis. Thank you very much, Wendy. <laughs> I love the way you've got your cameras up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Let's just talk about um, signing with Mushroom Records. I think, if history serves us well, yes, you were the first band. I, th- I think, yeah, I, I think I'm, you were. I've, I'm pretty sure to sign with yes. Mushroom. Yep. Because I mean, obviously, Mushroom has <laughs> barely just started. Well, that, it was um, uh, Michael Densey had a newspaper called Daily Planet, which is a music paper, and and it was a. Uh, uh, a money sponge, but at the, you know, the industry needed the uh, um, needed the uh, newspaper to uh, you know build the industry up That's because right, yeah. because folks you got to remember it was um, at a time was what well, we're talking really it wasn't much more than ten years since since rock and roll had started in Australia, so the the, the whole nature of the industry was. A baby. It was embryonic, mm-hmm. and, and people didn't know what was going on, um, where to go. Where to go? The record companies were overseas record companies. I mean, there were a couple of Australian companies, but um, Mushroom was obviously Australian company recording Australian artists yeah. and original Australian Australian music. artists. Yeah. So it was um, it was all starting from the ground up. It was very exciting. In fact. You know, I think back, um, and it was just what an education. It was just, you know, it was crazy. Um, I mean, uh, I don't think people really knew what was happening from one minute to the next. Uh, even even when uh, the uh, uh, first single we did, Goodbye Lollipop, I remember hearing it on the radio. Um, uh, and there, I th- I'm trying to get the times right, but there, there was a, a radio, was it radio uh, strike about playing a strike? The record I, companies wanted yeah, the radio stations, stations to pay to use their songs. Right. 
Which, which I, I don't know all, all the... Uh, so Michael uh, wouldn't have wanted that, so you probably did get airplay. Yeah, oh, I can't remember to tell you the truth. <laughs> what, a, what a position to put me in. I'm sorry, but I'm... Hello? I'm look, the same. Look, <laughs> it's is this 21? No, sorry, Wendy. Sorry. Was, yeah. I remembered I forgot, or yeah, that yeah. I forgot I'll to say, remember. I'll just say, who am I? Yeah, it's That's right. a, Next question. But the thing is, okay, A, you were the, the first band. Yes. So, um, obviously, a, a, an exciting period. The first Sunbury. Yes. Now, was that 72? 72, I think it 72. was. 72. And, 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 and you well, opened. That's, well, we... we we were just starting to uh, uh, break through in, and 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 I remember Michael, apart from having the uh, the uh, uh, watermelon franchise at the festival, <laughs> I he, loved that one. Yeah, yeah. I love that. He he um, was able to get us on, so we were there. I think we played somewhere the night before and drove through the night and got to Sunbury about six or seven in the morning and and uh, they used us to get all the levels and stuff with the PA so yeah, we, we, we were first act first, for, up. For first act playing but they made a Sunbury movie and we got uh, we hit the uh, editing floor which is a shame because I'd, I'd like to have seen hey but maybe and, someone's got the um, all the, the footage, all the footage. That's a, such a long time ago. It's a lifetime ago. The watermelon Literally. thing was pretty funny, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But hey, never look a buck in at me. I, <laughs> I mean, imagine if you had a tip truck full of watermelons, to, you know, if you can turn it into the folding stuff. Well, um, that's, that's, that's business, Michael. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so Amanda Lake went on to have a couple of massive hits in, yes. um, in Australia. Yep, yep. In, um, in Victoria particularly, I yep, guess, yep. because this was your hometown. Uh, ho hometown, and it was, you know... Goodbye Lollipop yes, was, it was your first, first single. And, and then uh, uh, the na 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 it was all happening then, aeroplanes and different city every night. What was it like for you personally? I mean, all of a sudden you're, well, not all of a sudden, because you've been playing in bands for a long time, but all of a sudden really, you know, you've got a big single, it's you're a pop star. It's Excitementville. I thought, wow, I like this. Um, but uh, did, you, was, did you tour a lot? Yes, yeah, for, for a number of years. Who was, was managing just, you? Uh, Michael was for a while. Um, so what you got free watermelons? Yeah, that's right. We got paid in watermelons. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? He's gonna smack me. He's gonna smack me when he so, sees me. I'm right that, over the head like this. So, well, actually, there must have been other people who got paid in watermelons as I'm well. I've been in a lot of trouble. You no, really no, no. Me. He'll laugh about it. He'll <laughs> laugh. You know, he, he calls me uh, what's that? Fat ass. So. Um, He'll probably go. He's probably probably watching this now. Well, he probably and, isn't, but we'll make sure make he does. Sure. <laughs> yes. Hey, just tune in now, Michael. <laughs> Hi, hi. Yeah. He's, no, it'll be all right. No, it'll all be right. all good. Yeah, we um, love you. We do. Yes. Um, the thing is, you were touring a real lot, um, all around like Australia wide. Yes, yes, yes. I mean. Um, it was, uh, How was the scene then? Because it was sort well, of like, uh, it, as I said, it was sort of changing. Wasn't it, it? It was the music cha style was changing. The music style was changing. And, and, and uh, as we were saying before, it was, you know, people were developing attitude because people, you know, average punters were going, well, no, I don't want to be like uh, Harry down the road or, you know, Betty up the other way. I want to grow my hair. I want to grow my hair, wear T-shirts and jeans and, you know... So it really was a big, t a big change. Well, it was. I mean, you know, uh, uh, because the fifties and in the early sixties, very conservative place. But then all of a sudden, uh, it, suburban it pubs. That that was, a, you know. So did you start yeah, working pubs? Advent of pub rock. That was, uh, you know, from the small uh, uh, Club. clubs. Yeah. Everybody's, you know, uh, it went in, you know, expanded uh, uh, sideways. So you know. All of a sudden, from from a two hundred seater club, it's 
into a thousand, a thousand, uh, fifteen hundred people mm. pub venue. And then you're looking uh, at huge PAs, what, trucks, huge PAs and crew and Sorby, you know. So who was uh, who? Who was? Sort of started. He was the king of the pubs, yeah. you know, and uh, and we fitted into that uh, uh, idiom as well. It was massive transformation because that that enabled it. The, do- the dollars, the numbers grew, which in turn fed into the industry, and it just expanded and grew and, and grew it, and grew. And it became massive. Massive. Yeah. And I'm sure, I, I mean, I don't know what, what uh, uh, volume sales these days surely aren't anything like they were back in, the, you know, uh, in Do those you, times. Do you mean... Um, I, you know, uh, you, you, actual... Sales of, of, record, of, of record, 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 record. Record, record, recorded material. Oh, I don't know whether yeah. anything sells anymore. Does yeah, it? I, 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 you just well, download I, it? I don't. I mean, you know, um, it's, our stuff still sells. You know, uh, so but, I'm but sure, the thing I'm is sure that said, but it's, that was not, our era. We yeah, loved, we loved having that a pile of records. We loved having that album cover uh, yeah, to look yeah, at. And, yeah, yeah, and just wow, well, look at that, you know. Just really, a, even CDs weren't the same, were they? No, no, no. Not unless you, know, you sort of. Get, it's like a world in in minuscule, you know. But maybe it's, it's not. Maybe it's because you get older and we can't well, see it. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it might That's be. That's right. It might be. Yeah. And, and so, what? Wendy, I'd like to. I'd like to present your gold uh, CD. <laughs> Here it is. <That's, laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. For, for us, they'll have to make them about so big. And it's just, oh, I'd like to thank everybody for, uh, for that. Yeah, anyway. Oh, that's very really funny. Madness, that's probably stuff. what it is. We'll take a short break. When we come back, yeah. I really want to talk to you about what happened just after uh, Madeleine Lake split up and, and what you got up to. But also, now, yeah. you have a project that's almost come to fruition. Yes, yes. And we're going to talk about your latest project. And that's coming up next. Sorry, Wendy. No, you're really good. <laughs> you're good. You're good. Ridiculous stuff. You want my job. No, I don't. No. <laughs> I wouldn't look good in those clothes. Oh, I don't know. No, 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 no. <laughs> Rock down. Susan. Hey, Susie Pinder here. Miss Chrissy and I were out and about for Rockdown TV. We wandered up to the Hi-Fi Bar where Jim Keyes was having a benefit. He has myeloma cancer and this is a benefit that he had last year and repeated it this year. What a fabulous night it was. There was legendary artists like Matt Lake, Black Feather, Russell Morris and Jimmy himself. We caught up with him after the gig. He was a bit tired but what a trooper. You won't be disappointed. Have a look at this one. This is Susie for Out and About Rockdown with Miss Chrissy. We're here at the Hi Fi Bar with Mr. Jimmy Keys himself. Hello, how are you going? I'm, I'm okay, yeah. I, um, I uh, have been struggling for a while, but um, uh, pretty good tonight, yeah. yeah. What a corker of a show. It was a good show, and it was for a great cause um, for multiple myeloma, which I have. Um, and um, a lot of people turned up, it was great, really good. This is the second year that the benefit has been on? It has, yep. and um, we're hoping to make it an annual event. And, and each year we hope to get more and more acts and make it a bigger bigger and better thing. So, you know, we're hoping to build it up over the over a period. And the new album is fantastic. Um, yeah, it's been very well received. Uh, the, um, the media have loved it and, and the public have taken to it as well. So I'm very happy with that. And we're sort of uh, starting to work on another one now. Another one? Already. <laughs> and, and do I get the scoop for Rock Down? Um, you can. We're we're uh, we're starting work. We've already compiled some uh, songs for the new one, and uh, we'll start working on it um, probably a little bit before Christmas. Ooh! Yeah. So different to this album? The, the no, no, no. We're, we're going to do a little bit more of the same. More of the, this album was garage punk, um, and uh, and and because the public and the, the media liked it so much, we thought we'd continue on the theme and do a little bit more garage punk stuff. 
Do you reckon we can get you into Rock Down Radio on my show at Southern FM? Oh, yeah, or down the track. I reckon it'll be good when I get the new album out, eh? Oh, I'm going to plug it. OK. okay. Thank you so much. Okay, see ya. This is Susie and Miss Chrissy with the fabulous Mr Jimmy Keys at the Hi-Fi Bar. You're being rocked down. <laughs> Welcome back to Rock Down. Now, Mick. Yes, yes, yes. Madelaide had their years and years of touring. Uh, uh, how many albums? Oh, you'll love this. Uh, there was two, and then there was the best of. And, and um, it's amazing how you get mileage out of two albums, because in the recent years, Aztec um, remastered and re-released both albums. And sound-wise, it's superior to the original recordings. So it's all remixed and yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, uh, they're, they're, uh, those. What gets me is you know, forty years on, they still every year thousands of copies still sell. Isn't that wonderful? I think it's amazing. You know, so. Um, so you you um well the band obviously um, split up, but very. Amicably, because oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. were just saying to me before that well, you guys well, well, still yeah. see each other. Yeah, the, see, the, the, the band never split up, they say, you know, which is, I suppose, for all intents and purposes, is, is true. It's just that it didn't, uh, it didn't appear in public, you know. Um, uh, I, I, over 20 years ago, I moved up to um, Ballarat and uh, I was married at the time got two kids and I went through, you know, the family thing and I ended up becoming a school teacher, teaching art and um, in the latter years a music So Swinburne did come in handy. Oh, it came in handy. <laughs> uh, mind you, rather <laughs> stressful teach, teaching uh, uh, um, young ferals uh, art, but the music never died. So even, even though... Uh, the band stopped playing. Yeah, yeah. Said, yeah. We'd get together. We'd write songs. We'd record songs, and you know, it. It for all in intents. That's a lovely. It, lovely it, day, it, it just went on. Okay, so but what what happened uh, um, four or five years ago? We ended up um, uh, doing a Queenscliff Festival, and it, we just kept going since then. You know, performing. I oh, played there. Wow. And uh, uh, everybody loves it. And, what, and the biggest thing of all is that uh, we've actually completed an album. So which, tell us about the album. Okay, so um, whose the, idea was it? All of you? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's. So this yeah. came after Queenscliff, and you've realised that you why not well, why not do this thing? That's right. Um, and we we figure well if we don't do it now, you know. There's, a, there's a, a, a thing behind it because, you know, everybody goes, yeah, yeah, you know, the Metal Lake have always talked about, you know, they've got the new album coming out. In fact, when I do shows, I talk about it and the audience crack up laughing. It's become a, 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 joke. a joke, you know. And, um, but it's, tr it's true, the album is a whisker away from being finished. I think, well, I hope, you know, when people hear it, they'll go, gee whiz, you know. I know. What I'm, I want I'm, to hear it. I, 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 I'm not. I'm not foolish enough to to go. You know, hey, it's you know uh, going to be earth changing or life changing. And it's uh, good. Uh, but but it's, it, for for us, you know, the gratification is there. That you know, it's done. You've done something you've been talking about. For ex exactly. All those and, years. And, and it sounds good. You know. Um. Are the other boys still living? In Melbourne and around. Well, well, the, the... We're, well we're spread out. Um, uh, Andy Burns, our keyboard player, is in Melbourne. Andy, uh, not Andy. Andy, young Burn. Andy from New Zealand. Yes, yeah, he'll love the young Andy from New Zealand. Say hello. Mm. Say hello. <laughs> Thank you so much. It was beautiful. <laughs> See you soon.